What are we doing today, you might ask? Today we're making a steak, cooking a five-star steak. But Mr. Buggin, how are you gonna make a steak in your bedroom? Use your brain? We're going downstairs, come on, let's go. I was gonna forget you. Let's go! Get that, let's go! Let's go! So here we go, we're at the steak here. Have a handy dandy plate and throw that slab of meat right on there. You know, we have this New York strip right here. We're gonna take our sea salt now. Sea salt. And salt your steak. See this steak? Both sides, people. Now, follow me down here. We got a seasoning cabinet. We're gonna take pepper, black pepper, garlic powder. And rosemary. That's it. Take the black pepper. A little bit of that on the top. Don't forget to get the sides as well. Season those sides. Mmm. Mmm. Garlic powder. Whoa. Rosemary. Pop the lid open. Rosemary all over the stem. And now that's No, that's on there. Make sure you're pressing those seasonings into the steak. Now your steak should look something similar to this, you hear? Mm -hmm. Wash your hands. Make sure you're cleanly, cleanliness. Keep those seasonings for later. We're gonna need them all later. Grab yourself. Five star large pan. Uh, cast iron would work great, but I don't feel like cleaning that, so I'm not gonna use it. So I'm just gonna put it right here. No, come on, come back down. And turn the stove to high. There you go. What we're gonna do, you might be thinking, what's gonna go in the pan? Well, nothing. Besides the steak, of course, but you might be thinking like oil, should we put oil in there? No, you wanna put the oil on the steak. Just a little tiny little bit, just about the, that much, half a teaspoon. Rub that into the steak, both sides. Ooh, that was too much. <laughs> so now that your steak's all oiled up, you're gonna wait until that pan gets nice and very, very hot. <coughs> Look at this glass, I just found it. I don't even know what this is. This is a crucial part of making the steak. Ooh. Get yourself a nice glass of milk and a fancy glass. Pour that chocolate right up in there. Okay. You got chocolate, whoa. Looks like shit. Champagne? No. Chocolate milk. Even better. Now it's pan down here. If you can't see it, but it's steaming. It's way too hot. I messed up, so I'm gonna put that down below. Um, yeah. I forgot that my, there's nothing in here. It's just steaming. If I put this to my face, I would die. I'm gonna take that off the burner for a few minutes here. You okay with your beards? Ugh. This is my dog, Iverson. She's a big, big boy. Yeah. Now that your pan is ready, take your slab of meat. I feel like you guys can't even see it. Mm. All right, well, I guess that's the most you're gonna see here. Take your slab of meat right on there for about two and a half minutes. Two and a half minutes for the first side, okay? Thongs. So, while that's cooking, get yourself a nice wood cut cutting board. Fun fact, I built this back in 1972. Get yourself about a tablespoon of butter. Hmm? About that much butter. Throw it on that cutting board. Now, this is why I said keep your seasoning though. You want to season that butter with that salt, garlic powder, rosemary, and the black pepper. Bam, boom, pow. Now, back over to the steak here. Make sure it's having 100% surface touch. Engagement with the pan here. Uh, I feel like I feel like lean down here, so the face tracking system sees everything here. Mm -hmm. Okay. So, do yourself a nice slippery. Oh, this steak looks awful. So here you've got a nice steak. Want to make sure you get a nice crust on there. That's why you want it so hot. So again, uh, two and a half minutes on that side. I didn't explain it before. I like a nice medium rare on my steak. Okay. I like anything higher than uh, medium? Uh, you're a psychopath. Boom, bam. Take your attention over here. Now, for the last few seconds, you want to put the steak on its sides for about 10 to 30 seconds. And then you want to take the steak off of the burner 
and get just a little bit of butter, about a tablespoon, about a tablespoon, throw it in there and get a garlic clove or two. And don't take it out of the, the paper shell, just crack it. You can crack it, but don't unravel it. Throw it in there with it. I'm gonna use two cloves of garlic because I like garlic. A little bit of rosemary, bam. Get yourself a nice wide spoon. Now you wanna, you wanna tilt the pan right onto that steak. And then after about a minute of doing that on one side, put it over and do it to the other. Put your steak right on top of that butter that we had with the seasonings. Put it right on top of there. Now you wanna let that steak rest for about five to 10 minutes. I usually lose my patience around two minutes, but take a little stroll around the house, why don't we? Right here, we have my friend, Iverson. Say hi, Abby. No, don't, no, don't. I think she stays right. On this chair, we got the man giving you a nice booty shot. I like that thick booty. All right, now that the steak's done resting, let's see how we did. Let's give it a nice cut down the middle. Oh my gosh, talk about a perfect medium rare. Oh yeah. Let me, let me cut off a slice for you guys, yeah? Oh, the lighting might not be too good, but that's a perfect medium rare. Let's see how it tastes. It's class, bro. Mm. Let me give you guys a different angle here. Mm. So when we look at the steak, will you, sh will you shut the, will you shut the, will you shut up? Can you guys see the deer? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, she's barking at the deer. This is a perfect, shut up. This here, my friends, is perfect, medium rare. Give it another bite here. Mm. Mm. Just, mm. it was professional. Mm. You might want some steak. This is, this is five star dining, you know. Oh my gosh, absolutely. Perfection. I know how to cook. I don't know what to tell you guys. I'm just, oh, mm, mm. Fam, fantastic. Final step is washing the dishes. If you guys enjoyed this episode of Buggins Barbecue, leave a like and subscribe. Comment what you want to see me cook next. Peace!